You may have observed that sometimes voltage may get suddenly increased and similarly sometimes get decreased. If this fluctuation of voltage happens again and again, there may be a chance that our home appliance get damaged. To avoid this, voltage protection device is installed. If the voltage in our homes get increased much higher than the normal voltage, then voltage protection device will disconnect the power supply. Similarly, if the voltage get decreased much below the normal voltage, the protection device will again disconnect the power supply completely. Normally, we use MCB and RCCB for protection in our homes from electric fault. Along with these two protection devices, voltage protection device also needs to be installed. If all these three devices are installed in our home, the safety of all appliances from electrical faults is assured. Friends, you have the knowledge about how MCB are used and you also have the knowledge about working of RCCB. Now we are going to understand how voltage protection device works and how it is used. The voltage protection device which you are watching is a single phase voltage protection device manufactured by CNC company and the model number of this protection device is YC9VA. In this device, total two display are provided to see the voltage and current. Along with the indication lights are provided which glows when fault occurs. Over voltage, under voltage and over current is displayed by these indications. The amount of voltage protection required is performed by those three buttons through programming. Let's learn about how you will do the connection for this device. The MCB used in our homes is to be placed with this protection device and the output power supply from protection device is to be connected with RCCB. So the distribution board from electrical supply is used in following manner. First MCB is connected then voltage protection device and after that RCCB. For now I will show you how this device is connected. As now you can see the first terminal in this device the N is written below the device. That means neutral power supply is to be connected. The second terminal next to this one is to be connected with phase supply because in is written below. Suppose this lamp which I am using now is a load that means the power supplied should go in this lamp only. Now what we will do is we will pick the phase wire of the lamp and this is to be connected with out terminal of the device. This means output power is supplied through this wire to our home. Neutral power supply is also required so the neutral wire from lamp is to be connected with end terminal of the device. Now if we supply power to this device we will observe countdown here which is of 30 seconds which means the power supplied for the first time will be supplied to the lamp only when the countdown is completed. This means a time delay is provided. For now 30 seconds is provided but you can change this also. On completion of 30 second, the load will switch on automatically. The incoming voltage we can see now is 213 volt. If you want to set the voltage that at which point the power supply to light is cut off, then simply press this button for 3 seconds. On pressing this button, this indication will show up and glow. This means now you can do the programming for over voltage. You can use plus and minus button for programming. You can set from 230 to 300 volts for over voltage. If you do not require over voltage protection then you can turn it off also. I am going to set 250 volts for over voltage or let's say 245 for now. If you want to program the under voltage then press this button. Under voltage indication is now glowing. For now 177 volt is programmed but you can program it for 
110 to 210 volts i set the voltage at 175 volt now if you again press this button then this will show up on the display this means how much delay time you want to set you have noticed that the first time when the power is supplied the reading was 30 if you want to reduce it then you can also reduce this let's say if i want to reduce it to 5 seconds if i again press this button you can program the overcurrent from 1 ampere to 63 ampere the overcurrent can be programmed if you don't want overcurrent protection then you can turn it off i want to set this device for 10 amperes for now then after again pressing this button you will get voltage difference you can do the programming from 0 to 15 volt let there be 10 volt for now now let's come to time setting which means for how long you have to wait after over voltage to stop the power supply minimum 1 second and maximum 10 second can be programmed for now let's set it for 5 seconds if you again press this button you will get under voltage time setting you can set from 0 second to 10 second let it be 5 second now you will get the time delay for over current you can set from 0 second to 99 second let it be 2 second for now this means that if 10 ampere current is reached even for 2 seconds then this device will disconnect the power supply this device contains this much programming only let's go to working of this device you can see that the voltage is now 211 volt now if we increase the voltage to 247 you can observe that the power supply got disconnected it means on increment in voltage the power supply is disconnected automatically let me decrease the voltage for now you can see that after taking the delay time the power supply to the load gets back to normal now you can see that the voltage is 204 volts and the lamp is turned on now i have decreased the voltage to 146 and you can see the lamp is turned off now again if i set voltage back to normal as soon as the countdown completes the lamp is turned on if you want to buy this product the link is provided in the description thank you for watching this video